With the shell complete, we're going inside our two-story masonry house to build out the interior. Come along as we install the interior framing, mechanical, electrical, and plumbing at our Build-A-House project in South Florida. The contractor selected the use of metal studs to create the interior wall partitions. But let's start from the top. The building plans help installers frame out the partitions on the concrete foundation. Each room is laid out and with luck, the plumbing and electrical piping installed during the foundation pour line up with the walls, which wasn't always the case. Metal stud bottom tracks are secured to the concrete foundation by shooting drive pins with 22 gauge power actuated fasteners. Air guns secure pressure treated wood framing studs against exterior masonry walls. Vertical studs are secured to the top and bottom tracks with metal screws. This is all done per the building plans and are inspected by city officials prior to continuing. Metal studs are placed alongside wood roof trusses for a level ceiling finish and to frame out tray ceilings. Architectural features like this electric fireplace wall are framed out which also helps hide columns that didn't lie center to the wall. Wood blocking is added to metal studs to provide stiffness and laser levels help keep everything level and plumb. Wood door openings are framed in to help stiffen and secure door installation and windows are framed to provide support for drywall ends. The same work continues upstairs, attaching floor tracks to the plywood framing and wood trusses above, but there's a problem. This door location was changed and not caught during installation. Framers quickly remove and relocate the door, easy when it's just framing, but difficult to do afterwards. With the framing complete, plumbing can be installed. Hot and cold water force mains and drain lines are constructed through the walls and floors at the plumbing fixtures noted on the plans. Another problem arises. There's a break in the water line which was identified and required the slab to be cut so the pipe can be properly reinstalled to ensure no leaking occurs in the future. Showers are formed with wood curbs and lined with felt paper. They will be formed with concrete, then overlaid with shower pans and finished with tile. This shower diverter is installed to provide the hot water cold mix. PVC pipes are fitted, cleaned, leveled and glued in place before walls can be finished. Finished piping is pressure tested to pass inspection. With the plumbing underway, the air conditioning ducts are installed in and around roof and wall framing. Both send and return lines are installed to provide a uniform cooling process throughout the house. Air handlers are tucked under stairs and similar hideaway areas. Air conditioning components will also hang here from the garage from chains so it's up and out of the way but accessible for maintenance.
Next is electrical. Each wire to the outlets, switches, and ceiling lighted is routed through the circuit breaker panel and through pre-cut holes in the metal framing to their final destinations throughout the house. Positive, negative, neutral, and ground wires are terminated and await final switch or outlet installation after walls are finished. The wires end up at circuit breaker panels awaiting final connection. It looks messy, but there's a logical method to installation. With the plumbing, AC, and electrical rough work in place, drywall is delivered awaiting approval to be installed. That's an entertaining process you won't want to miss. Find more episodes at engineeringplans.com forward slash build.